first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you very much to the Brain Foundation, as well as its generous sponsors and donors, um, for supporting this project, which is our project focusing on measuring brain volumes in real-world multiple sclerosis, or MS, patients. To give some background, I'm a neurologist who's currently in the process of completing my PhD in the area of multiple sclerosis and MRI imaging. And this is through the Brain and Mind Centre at the University of Sydney. This research gift will assist me in ensuring my continued involvement in clinical imaging research, which I've really developed a passion for, well beyond my PhD, and for that I'm very, very grateful. There are currently over around 25,000 patients in Australia who have got multiple sclerosis, and it's both an inflammatory and neurodegenerative disease. It usually presents between 20 and 40 years of age, and it's more common in females than males at about a ratio of three to one. And as Professor Keenan was saying earlier, there's now around 14 therapies that can be used to manage multiple sclerosis in terms of the relapsing form of the disease, which is, is relevant to this work as well. In current clinical practice, new symptoms, as well as the appearance of new white matter lesions on MRI scans, are used to assess whether or not inflammatory disease is occurring. However, what we're lacking to date is accurate measures of the neurodegenerative component of the disease. And currently there's nothing available to use in the clinical practice setting to, to monitor um, neurodegeneration. The measurement of brain volumes and brain volume change over time using specialised MRI software techniques has been proposed to address this unmet need. This is because in the research setting, brain volume loss has been found to be associated with and predictive of disability and also cognitive decline at the group level. This current project aims to explore and validate the use of MRI brain volume measurement techniques in a real world Australian MS cohort. Patients will be followed up both clinically and with imaging in the form of an MRI scan after about five or six years with the initial baseline MRI having already been performed. There will be a particular emphasis on not only investigating the use of these MRI measurement techniques at the <coughs> group level but also at the individual patient level. Both gold standard as well as new fully automated commercial MRI products, software products, will be used in this study. Through their association with clinical patient outcomes, MRI brain volume and volume change measures have the potential to help guide MS management decisions and also to assist with monitoring the response to treatment, of which we've now heard there are growing numbers in the relapsing space and we of course hope that there's going to be some therapeutics that come into the progressive um, part of the disease as well, whether it be secondary progressive or primary progressive. These important aspects will be <coughs> investigated as part of this project as well. And once again, I'd like to really thank the Brain Foundation for supporting this research. <laughs>